one of my marketing clients, I worked with Paramount Pictures to do public relations for the biggest grossing film of all time, Titanic. And in that capacity and responsibility, traveled throughout the Midwest and uh, to some degree in Canada, promoting the film, telling the story of the original Titanic and comparing it to James Cameron's portrayal of 1997. Hmm. What did you think about the portrayal? The portrayal is the most accurate ever achieved yet by mankind. There had been three other motion pictures done telling the story of Titanic, but the difference was that they did not have a $100 million budget. And also, until James Cameron had made dives to Titanic, and his predecessor to do so, I might add, uh, Robert Ballard, it was not known exactly what had happened to Titanic. And those previous films depicted her as sinking in one single piece. Well, after Mr. Ballard discovered the remains of the wreck in 1985, mm -hmm. after Mr. Ballard discovered the remains of the wreck in 1985, it was determined that none of the portrayals had been entirely accurate to that point in time, that indeed the ship had cracked in half before she settled to the bottom of the sea. And so that is the primary difference between uh, his and the preceding three films, is that his was the most meticulously researched with all of the most contemporary of technology in order to portray Titanic exactly as it was 85 years previous. And as you sat in the theaters back in 1997 and experienced it, it literally was as if you were on board. Hmm. Why is it the most, uh, the highest grossing film in the history of uh, Hollywood, in the history of the world? Well, at the end of the 20th century, the trend was away from major budget films. The public was getting fed up with the kind of money that was being put into it. And smaller um, films were becoming more popular. However, uh, James Cameron, who, as I mentioned, had actually made dives down to Titanic, felt that it was such a compelling story that he wanted and would spend whatever amount of money necessary in order to tell it properly. Um, so he initially proposed uh, to Paramount uh, uh, approximately a $25 million budget and overran it excessively. They then joined with Fox Television uh, and Fox Motion Pictures and raised that budget up to 100 million. With that 100 million, James Cameron was then able to have a, a 800 foot replica of the ship built off the coast of Mexico um, uh, through which, down to the most exacting of detail, they were able to replicate both first class, second and third class areas of the ship so that as the public sat in front of the screen, they were literally stepping on board Titanic. Titanic was a remarkable film in that even though the trend of the time, the trend at the end of the 20th century was away from big budget films, James Cameron had managed to write such a, a touching story on one of the most dramatic incidents of history that the public felt a distinct chord with it. I believe that everyone who stepped into that theater sat there thinking, what would I have done under the circumstances? They put themselves in the movie because that's how realistic it is. And they say, would I have saved myself? Or would I have or would I have gone down with the ship? So, separate from the film, what is it about the story of Titan the Titanic that interests you personally? What is it about Titanic that interests me personally? Well, initially, what interested me about Titanic was the sheer engineering of it. Uh, you know, a, a ship as massive as this was, some 64,000 tons, the largest ever built, how mankind was able to create such an incredible object. However, um, once I began researching those who were on board the ship and discovered that there were victims and survivors from Chicago and began to meet their families and in some cases the survivors themselves who went on to live oblivious lives uh, uh, you know, in, in suburbia here in the city, uh, Titanic was no longer just 
a hunk of steel, but rather instead 2,230 lives to me. And I think that that, more than anything else, is what brought the people to the theater. They wanted to learn what happened to those 2,235 people. Mm. And that's what, um, that's what uh, has made Titanic a obsession for me and hopefully will for a long time.